Prime Minister Netanyahu scored a stunning victory this week. Just a few days ago, experts were writing his political obituary. But the voters gave him an overwhelming triumph and put him in position to form the next government. His victory sent shockwaves to capitals from Tehran to Washington. Israeli voters delivered a clear message to the White House, the media and the world. Thanks for your help, but we'll keep our prime minister. What was supposed to be a tight race that favored the leftist Zionist Union turned overnight into a surprisingly strong victory for the nationalist right led by Netanyahu. The prime minister quoted the book of Joel in his victory speech. I want to thank you all, all the citizens of Israel, for faith in Israeli democracy and for the faith in our one and only country. With your help and with the help of God, we will protect her together, and Judah will be inhabited forever, and Jerusalem for all generations. Facing negative poll numbers and a hostile media, Netanyahu told a large nationalist rally on Sunday that his Likud party could close the gap between his and the leftists and the national parties. It appears he did just that and surprised even his supporters. Every pre-election indicator said Israelis would vote their pocketbooks and vote labor. But in the end, security concerns prevailed. I think that the Israeli public understood that despite all the issues and all the problems, when we see the threats of Iran, Hezbollah and Hamas, the Likud is the best leading party to lead the nation for the next four years. Netanyahu will now bypass parties on the left and try to form a government of the right. But he will have to focus on the high cost of housing and other social issues as well. That contributed to the 24 seats won by Labor and the good showing of Kulanu, a Likud offshoot that the Prime Minister will need for his majority. Meanwhile, Netanyahu's victory sets Israel and the Obama administration on a potential collision course over Iran. The Director of National Intelligence just removed Iran and Hezbollah from its list of threat assessments, while Netanyahu calls Iran the number one state sponsor of terror in the world.